Hi everyone, in this video we will learn how to create a Microsoft Teams meeting link for the upcoming parent-teacher interviews. Now in order to get started, from publicboard.ca, you're going to click on the Staff tab to access your Office 365 account. Once you're inside of your Office 365 account, be sure to click on the ellipsis symbol located on the upper left-hand corner of your screen and look for the icon titled Calendar. Once you're inside of your calendar, look for the blue button called New Event. And when you click on that event, it will open up the event dialog to which we will now populate with the required information for this meeting. So let's now add a title, something descriptive. We will call this Parent Teacher Interviews. And you could provide your name. And where it says Invite Attendees, please only include your name. Do not add the name of your administrators as they will be receiving multiple meeting invites. So we're going to try to eliminate that. So please only provide you as the attendee. And at this point now, let's populate the date and time for this event. We know the upcoming interviews will be this coming Wednesday, March the 24th. They will begin at 4 p.m. So please look for 4 p.m. and not a.m. We'll do a double check on that. So there it is, 4 p.m. The event will start from 4 and it will end at 5.30. So for a total of 1.5 hours. When you scroll down now, look for the option called Add Online Meeting. This is important because you're going to want to click on Teams Meeting for the active link to be generated. And when you click on Active Teams Meeting, you will see that appear all right, in the drop down box. And if you want, and this is optional, you could add a description or you could attach uh, documents if you so desire. But for this example, we're going to leave that blank. We're now going to scroll up and let's double check the information. We've got our descriptive title, we have our attendee, which is in this case only the teacher, the required date and time of the event. Let's now click on send. When you click on send, it will now populate inside of our Office 365 calendar. Now, you will notice for Wednesday, March the 24th, you will see the active link appear uh, directly in the pane to the right. If you don't happen to see it here, please double click um, inside the box for uh, March uh, the 24th. So in this case, I'm going to double click on the meeting. Once you're inside the meeting, go ahead now and scroll down. When you scroll down, this is where you're going to be able to copy and paste the meeting link. So there's two ways on how to do this. If you simply highlight the entire text that says click here to join the meeting, uh, there's two ways on how to do this. You can either on your keyboard select Control C to copy the link or with your mouse, you can right click and look for the option that says copy link address. So if you now left click, uh, click the option that says copy link address, that will now be um, copied inside of Windows. At this point, we're going to click on save. And the last step is to now access Edsby. So if you go back to publicboard.ca, you're going to click on the staff tab and click on Edsby to access your Edsby account. Once you're inside of Edsby, be sure on the upper left-hand corner of your screen to click on your Edsby message icon. So notice that you have, uh, in this instance, one message that is waiting for you, which should now be from Edsby. And when you click on your Edsby message, this is where you will have the ability to access the interview booking utility. So you're going to want to double click on the message from Edsby. And when you click on the link, it will take you to a screen that looks like this. Now you will notice from this screen on Wednesday, March the 24th, interviews will start from 4 p.m. and they will end at 5.30. Each interview block is 10 minutes long. So the last appointment of the evening uh, will begin at 5.20. Now in order to share the previously created link, look for the option that says enter a room. If you click inside that box, now again, there's two ways on how to do this. Using your keyboard, you can either press Control V to paste the link, or if you right click with your mouse, click on paste, and you will notice that the active link now appears. You can press enter on your keyboard to uh, successfully save the link um, in this particular location. Now you can also share this link directly inside of your, uh, your Brightspace uh, message board or inside of Edsby for your parents to be able to access the link. So there you have it folks. This is uh, now how you can successfully share your link with parents. Thank you very much now.